Hello everyone. So this is a design for automated bread farm, but it's not working quite perfectly, so maybe someone can see this design and hopefully improve on it. So this is how it works. I have six greenhouses to make sure it's synchronized with my water generation. So it takes 60 seconds to grow wheat and it takes 10 seconds to get water from the well. So that's what we're doing here. We have a wheat magnet. The wheat gets attracted onto it. The cranes pull it out and we need two flour mills to make sure we're uh, milling all of the wheat in time because it takes 10 seconds and we're going to have 12 wheat here. So again, synchronizing for that 60 second cycle. Then once the wheat has been milled into flour, lies over here to the flour magnet, and we pull two flour out of this. Now, this section is very delicate, and you might require some fiddling around with this. It's bound to desynchronize somewhere around here, eventually. What I found works quite well is that when the flour mill is about two-thirds done, so for this one, I did it when there was 3.6 seconds left on the wheat. I put the villager into the well to start working. And this seems to work quite well. Things you need to take note of. This grain needs to be able to reach this flower. Okay, so there is a very specific distance here. These two cranes and this crane also are a very specific distance. This flower will sometimes push this crane around. But just watch kind of what happens here, right? So we're, we're making dough here, which is fine. We also need some magic glue on the sides to prevent this from bouncing around. So I'm going to play this and you will notice the two flower gets pulled down and that's what, why this moves a little bit. Okay, so we need, we need these over here. Now what we have is one water over here Two flour gets tossed on top of that, but the water stays and the two flour gets put down. Now we get two water and both the waters get pulled over, right? And now we're making dough. And the whole cycle repeats. So we get two flour through and one water stays. Now what we should do, again, two flour and water stays. And now there should be two water coming in. Like that. Okay. And we're repeating. The reason why I want magic glue is because before the dough is finished here, this will bounce around like that. This keeps it in place. Just for safety, you might want to maybe glue these cranes as well, because if these things move around, it gets a little bit messy. So this is kind of the most difficult part. From here onwards, it's kind of just, um, it's a little bit simpler, but still somewhat tricky. So the dough magnet takes the dough, the two cranes bring it to two ovens. We need two ovens here because it takes 30 seconds to make bread, but it is a little bit faster. We're producing dough faster than that. So even two ovens isn't enough because you will notice I'm going to make dough a little bit earlier. So this is not finished baking, but we already have dough ready. So these two cranes are placed in a very specific location where they don't reach this dough, they don't reach this dough, but you see, if there's two dough in a single oven, the cranes reach and they pull the second one out into two other ovens, just to make sure we're not piling up dough over here. So the second dough gets pulled and we bake it in the other ovens. And this cycle again repeats. So these two cranes are in a very specific location as well. Now we will have some downtime in the ovens. Maybe you can improve that. You see, now, now it broke already. So um, if it breaks, you can kind of fix it just by removing some things. But yeah, I think what we need to do is we make, make sure this is synchronized well. 
with the flour and water production. It has to be synchronous as well. I'm not quite sure where the problems occur exactly. But yeah, if it fixes, you just need to remove it. And finally, we have a bread magnet over here. I'm just throwing it into the dustbin because I'm playing in uh, creative mode. So there's no villagers to eat the bread just for that. But normally you would probably have villagers to eat the bread. Now, there could also be an issue where if your villager eats the bread, he will get well, uh, well fed and will start working faster. So that's something to keep in mind as well. You will need someone who's not well fed here. Or maybe you could use a dog. So if you use a dog, dogs work slower. So dog. And well, whoops, well fed. So well fed dog will take 10 seconds. So if you're getting villagers that are well fed, you might need to use a dog here instead of a regular villager. Otherwise, this should work okay. 